Okay, so first of all, I have brought this data into Excel from another file, and you can see it hasn't quite been transferred across properly. Each line is split across three rows. If I take the headings here and click and drag them, they should be lined up like this. However, I can't just click and drag every single row because there are too many of them. If I go down to the end of the table, you'll see I have over 2,000 rows. So I need to find some other way of doing this. First of all, I'm going to do equals and then select this cell here and enter. Then I can drag this across to get all of the numbers in the top row. And then I will do equals and move on to the next row and click and drag this across as well. And then finally, I can link to this cell here. Then I'll move on to the next line and link to this cell here and drag this across. And then link to this cell and drag that across as well. And finally, link to this cell. Now I will select these two lines and press Ctrl H to open up the Find and Replace dialog box. And I want to find all of the equals signs and replace them with a hash equals. And then replace all and OK and close. And now we can see all of the cell references and we can look at the pattern that they make. So we start off in column B and then we go all the way across to column G, then go down a row and go back to column B again, and then go across to column G again, and then we end in column A. And on the next line, it's the same thing. We start in column B and go to G, then we go from B to G again, and we end in column A. So as we go down, the columns stay the same. Then if we look at the row numbers, you'll see that we have to add three each time. And that is because each line is split across three rows. So we go from B4 here to B7, and then here we go from five to eight, and then here we do six plus three to get to nine. So if we wanted to get the next line of data here, we would need to add three again, and this would need to be B10, and this B11, and this A12. So we're going to select all of these cells here, and then Excel will try and use all of the range that is selected to guess what the pattern is. I will then hover my mouse in the corner over here until it turns into a black cross and then drag it down. And you'll see that it has guessed the pattern correctly. So we have gone from B7 here and added three to get to B10. And then we went from B8 here to B11. And here we went from A9 to A12. So the columns stay the same and the row number increases by three each time. Now all we have to do is drag this down far enough that we transfer all of the numbers from this table over here. So we'll go back to the bottom of the table again. And we know that we need the number to go to 2,391. So select all of this and drag it down. And you'll see in the corner here, it tells me what the number is going to be. So all I have to do is drag this down until I get the number that I want. And then let's just check that this is correct. So we need to go to row 2391. And if we go back up to the end of this table, this is 2391. 
So we now have all of these cell references that we want. Now I'm going to select all of these cells here and press Control H again to open up the Find and Replace dialog box. And this time we'll do the opposite of what we previously did. So I want to find all of the hash equal symbols and replace them with just an equals symbol and then replace all. And OK and close. And once we put the equals symbol back at the beginning of the cell again, all of the cell references become real cell references again. And so they are linking to the numbers in this table and transferring them across. If we check the end of this table, the last row has the number 795. And at the end of this table, it also has the number 795. So we know that all of the numbers are being transferred across. You should probably check a few different numbers in random places to make sure that the whole thing is working the way that you want it to. Now that I have my table, I'm going to select everything and right click and copy and then right click and paste as values. And this will turn all of the formulas into actual numbers. And now this is just a normal table and I can use the numbers in it for whatever I want. Hopefully, no matter how your table is laid out, you should be able to work out the pattern that the cell references make and then use that pattern to rearrange the table. Okay, and that is everything.